In this problem, we have a block of mass 5 kilos is pulled up a rough slope at an angle of 25 degrees to the horizontal by a constant force of 50 newtons pulled at an angle of 10 degrees to the slope, as shown in the diagram. So we've got the slope is 25 degrees to the horizontal, and we've got this force 50 newtons pulling the block up the slope at an angle of 10 degrees to the slope. The coefficient of friction between the block and the slope is 0.2. The block starts from rest, and after x metres, its speed is 10 metres per second. Find x, the distance the block has moved up the slope. So, let's annotate this diagram. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete that triangle right in the components of the 50 Newton force. So that's going to be 50 sine 10 degrees and 50 cosine 10 degrees. Right, now the weight of the block will be 5g. Again, let's complete that triangle. That's going to be 25 degrees. So this is going to be 5g sine 25 degrees, and this will be 5g cosine 25 degrees. Okay. Right, it's going up the slope and we've got a coefficient of friction, so there's going to be a frictional force acting against the direction of motion, and we've got the normal reaction force, R. OK, so before I can go into the work energy principle, I'm going to need to know what the friction is. So I'm going to need to resolve perpendicular to the slope. And I'm essentially taking that direction as positive. So we're going to have R plus the 50 sine 10 degrees. Take away 5g cosine 25 degrees is equal to 0. So R is 5g cosine 25 take away 50 sine 10. OK, right, so that's the normal reaction force. The coefficient of friction between the block and the slope is 0 0.2. So therefore, the friction, which is equal to 0 0.2 R, will be equal to 0 0.2 times this. So 5 lots of 0 0.2 is 1. So this will be G cosine 25 degrees, and then 0 0.2 times 50 will be 10, so take away 10 sine 10 degrees. So that's my frictional force. Right, OK, so now I can go into the work energy principle. So we have the initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done is going to be equal to the final gravitational potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. So the initial kinetic, uh, sorry, the initial gravitational potential energy, mgh, will be 5 times g times h. And what we'll do is we'll just set the initial height as 0. So the initial GPE will just be 0. Then we've got the initial kinetic energy. Now, the block starts from rest, so half m times 0 squared is just going to be 0. So that's easy so far. Right, then we've got the work done by the forces acting in the direction of the motion. So we've got the 50 cosine 10 degrees, which is the component acting in the direction of motion, and that's going to be acting for x metres, so that's adding energy into the system, so plus 50 cosine 10 degrees times by x. So the force times the distance. Take away the work done by the friction. Now the friction we worked out here, so that's being multiplied by x as well, so g cosine 25 degrees take away 10 sine 10 degrees times x. So that's putting energy into the system, that's taking energy out. 
And that's going to be equal to the final gravitational potential energy. Now, if it's gone x meters up the slope at an angle of 25 degrees, the height here will be x sine 25. So think of it finishing off a right angle triangle. It's a distance of x. That's 25 degrees. So this is x sine 25. And that is your height. OK. So mgh, so 5g times x sine 25. Uh, plus the final kinetic energy, which will be plus 1 half times 5 times v squared, so 10 squared. OK, so now I need to solve this for x. Um, OK, so can I write this in as neat a way as possible? We will see. OK, I'll try and write it in exact form. Um, and then we can plug in g is 9.8 and calculate from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise the left-hand side. So I can write that as 50 cosine 10 degrees. Take away g cosine 25 plus 10 sine 10 degrees x. And on the right-hand side, well, we'll move this over to the left-hand side as well, actually, and factorise. OK, so let's do a few things at once. So I'm going to take that over to the other side and include it in here. So take away 5g sine 25 degrees x. And on the right-hand side, what have we got? 0 0.5 times 5 times 10 squared, so 250. OK, right, so that means that x is 250 over 50 cosine 10 degrees, take away g cosine 25 degrees, plus 10 sine 10 degrees, take away 5g sine of 25 degrees. Right, let's pop g as 9.8 into this and see what we get then. So 250 over 50 times cosine of 10, uh, take away 9.8 times cosine of 25, plus 10 lots of sine of 10, take away 5 lots of 9.8 times sine of 25. And we get 11.7 metres to three significant figures.